Hey, right on, man. Vas-y, mon ami, it's okay. C'est juste, c'est juste YouTube, là. Look at that. What a nice surprise. I was just making a walking video here in French here on... Uh... Well, I'm not going to say what street it's on because I want to keep some sort of anonymity for the guy who owns this car. Because, you know, for sure it's a guy who owns this... It's always guys who own these cars. <laughs> it's never women. It is... The Presidential Town Sedan. Ooh, definitely sounds like a limited edition. I thought it was an executive model. Very cool, baby. It's got the Continental kit wheel and the canvas top. This is a typical car you would see, I think, in the southern U.S. I would be very surprised if it was from here in Quebec. The Quebec, though. We don't had, we never had cars like this, really. Look at this. I'm gonna just yank this over here. There we go. And it's got... There's no miles on that car, I think, because A, the canvas top is fantastic. B, those look like almost the original tires. That's exactly how they were when these cars were sold new. Skinny white walls. Wow, that's really cool to see that. I wish it was a little cleaner, but what are you going to do? It's got the extra chrome around the uh, the uh, fenders. Circa 1990 to... Uh, oh boy, be careful there. Holy mackerel, is that going to fit? Ayoy. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, 1990 to uh, 94? They actually did this body style until 90, 97, and then they got all rounded off and everything. And I was never as crazy about the model that replaced this. It's all rounded and bubble type. It's a beautiful car. I have a friend who has one, but I don't know. To me, I think these were one, some of the nicest town cars that Ford ever built. Also, interestingly enough, this car has the... Um, I think it was optional, this windshield. There was something about it. It was, you can see that glare it has, that rose kind of colored. I've seen this also on the marquees. And it was uh, some sort of, um, I think it was like a UV protection or something like that. I don't know. That's a beautiful old car. Nice sighting. Finally, I see something interesting beyond all these fucking boring fucking cars, blocks after blocks, these shop platters. Jesus Christ. God forbid there should be a company that should make a car with this kind of a caliber and girth today. There's your keyless entry. Yeah, very nice interior. Wow, that's a decent ride, man. You know, it's funny because when I first walked up on this car, I actually thought it was one that I filmed. Uh, the last time I filmed one of these was in Rosemo, which is near here. The Rosemo district. And it was... Uh, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was, I think it was off of Saints at 6th Street, and it was also blue, but it was more of an old school kind of shade of blue, I don't know how to explain it, basically the type of blue you wouldn't even ever, never seen on the cars made in the last 20 years, basically, and the blue on the inside was similar to that, but it was, I think, lighter than this, and so I think it might have been older than this one, this looks again more like a, I don't know, like maybe mid-90s, 93, 94, and, uh, the executive model that they had after this in the round body style had longer rear doors, kind of like a limo service. That's very cool. I'm very happy to see that. Very nice. Again, um, I, hopefully, maybe one day the owner will see this and uh, and say, hey, c'est mon chat, it's my car, and uh, and tell me, oh, the car's only got 61,000 uh, kilometers on it, or, or in this case, probably more like miles, because, again, I'd be very surprised if this was a Canadian sold car. New, I highly doubt it. And... Uh, yeah, right on. All I can see that really needs that I'm as I'm seeing that's really not good is the all these headlights here would need to be polished to get rid of all the oxidization. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And apart from that, it's a cherry car. It looks to me like it was never a, definitely not a car that was kept outside. I mean, this paint is great. There's no scratches, no dents, there's no rust. Even the shocks you can see are in good shape because the car is at the correct height. Well, isn't that great? I love it when I make all the wise decisions. So did I happen to film this, make a walk on this street by, uh, just by uh, ch chance? Or was it just a, a feeling that maybe I didn't know I was going to see something great like this? Anyway. Hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, oh, one more thing I should, I should mention before I forget, which is extremely important. The power for this beauty is a 302 5 liter V8, which of course was detuned to a 4.6 liter. And yet, is the, probably the best engine that Ford ever made. It was the 302 and the 351 V8. And they fucking put those motors in everything. So when you, somebody tells me about a Mustang with an EcoBoost four-cylinder, I don't give a fuck. And a real guy, probably a guy who has this car, wouldn't even give a shit either. 
anyway so that's it guys uh take it easy bye bye